I remember one day I was riding my bike to attend a youth conference in Karlsruhe on the Rhine River. I started out from Stuttgart on my bicycle. I rode all day long. Just at sundown, with another hour's ride ahead of me, my front tire went flat. I had no repair kit to repair that tire. I looked around for help. Sure enough, it was at hand. There was a young German youth over in the field. He walked up and greeted me and said, Was is nice. What's wrong? Flat. We'll have to do something about that, he said. I'll be done in 30 minutes. I know a place. But I had to be in Karlsruhe within the hour. All of a sudden, he stooped down. Why didn't I think of that before? I said, I can't take that. You'll have to walk home, and you've worked hard all day in the field. The German youth straightened up, and I saw that his feelings were hurt. He said, don't you want to be my friend? I understood an awful lot in those few words, and I stuck out my hand and I said, you bet I want to be your friend. Thanks a million. Will Watts Sr., the son of a Scottish immigrant and lifetime owner of a hardware store in Thomasville, Georgia, took seriously the admonishment to love thy neighbor as thyself. He was named Honorary Citizen of Lundberg for encouraging Thomasville citizens to share their food and clothing with the small German town ravaged by World War II. Among those he solicited was the owner of Fox's shoe store. Mr. Fox's relatives were lost to the Holocaust, and yet so moved was he by Watts' plea for help that he filled Watt's car to the roof with donated shoes. Fortunate for the world, as Will Watt undertook his presidency of the Thomasville Rotary Club in 1939, he attended the Rotary International Convention in Cleveland, Ohio. Watt would say years later that the most impactful story he heard was the one told by an older Daryl Brady, about the time he was helped by a German youth. And that stuck in his mind till the war was over and he began to realize then that there ought to be some way to get young people together. That this story was the seed that was planted in his mind which eventually grew into the resolution to create the Georgia Rotary Student Program. At about the same time, Kendall Wisiger, a member of the Atlanta Rotary, convinced his club to provide financial support to Watts Georgia Rotary Student Program. It was a scholarship program, not an exchange program, but a scholarship program to bring students from Europe and then, then around the world uh, to Georgia for one year. You know, they had then, and it's still true today, the theme of world peace through understanding. And they felt like if you could bring young people together from all over the world, bring them here, not only would they have exposure to Americans, to Georgians, to Savannians, etc. But they had exposure to students just like themselves from all over the world. When I came into GRSB, I found out that a lot of what I thought I knew, I didn't really know. And I have learned to feel more sympathy for a lot of countries, because there have been some students in the program and their countries have experienced some war or disaster while we've been here. And if before, when I was just home and this would happen, I wouldn't really care. I, I would hear it, but I wouldn't feel personally attached to it. But when you know somebody who's from that country, you feel as if it's happening to you personally. When you meet other people, you, you find out that everyone is so alike. We, we think in the same way. We, uh, we feel in the same way. We, we have so many different thoughts about all the problems in the world. So, uh, so coming here and meeting people uh, from so many different countries really, really broadened my perspective. 
The National Infantry Museum in Columbus, Georgia was the 2014 gathering place for the 60 students and host families setting out on a one-year journey under the watchful eyes of the GRSP trustees. The Georgia Rotary Student Program is guided and directed by a dedicated group of Georgia Rotarians appointed by as trustees by the district governor. They devote their time, their talents, and their financial support to the program without compensation. As members of the Board of Trustees, they coordinate student selection, they encourage member support through endowment contributions, and educate Rotarians and their communities about the mission of the Georgia Rotary Student Program. My name is uh, Christopher Tolstrup. I'm from Denmark. I'm from Turkey. I come from Vietnam. Hey, y'all. Um, uh, my name is Maya, and I'm from Sweden. Georgia Rotary Club sponsors students recommended by a Rotary Club in their home country. Uh, my name is Oscar Bish. I'm from New Zealand, uh, currently studying engineering at Oglethorpe University. The Georgia Rotary Student Program covers one scholastic year. I don't feel like I deserve this at all, to have all this hospitality. It's, it's really lovely. Um, you guys have good fried chicken and good. From August to May, for undergraduate study in colleges and universities in the state of Georgia. Wonderful year. I know that you guys could think that we are lucky, but I would rather say that we are blessed for being here. I really want to thank you guys because you make me feel home. Students become adopted members of a Georgia host family living on campus at the school they attend. My name is Spingle, aka the guy who doesn't know how to dress for such a formal convention. <laughs> um, Each year, about 60 students from all over the world make friends in the United States and other nations and learn about different cultures and lifestyles. This year, uh, you guys, it's going to be a year that your grandchildren will grow tired of hearing about. <laughs> One of the things the grandchildren will weary of is this, the conclave. Each GRSP class gathers as a whole to meet the trustees, the other host families, and most importantly, each other. The culminating event of the three-day experience is a performance, created and rehearsed that day, which shows off the unique qualities and contributions of their culture. Having these young people in our homes and our schools, visiting in their homes and other countries, uh, it made me know that this program does work. It sincerely works. It uh, changes the face of how all these foreign countries and children look at us as, uh, as Americans. And sometimes that has not been very favorably. But uh, this program's doing something to change that. It's changing the other students that they go to school with here to see that these aren't foreigners. They're just like they are. They just happen to be from a different country. The young men and women, when they go home, they resume their normal lives, but they resume their normal life with an experience uh, of one year living and breathing and understanding what we Americans do. If we're ever going to have any kind of peace in this world, it's going to be through the youth. And, uh, and so that's, that's where our goal is, to promote that so that we get it, not just in our country, but worldwide. They come here as ambassadors, and then they leave as ambassadors from Georgia. So what we've done is we've we've taken a little bit of the entire world, we've brought it here, we've enjoyed um, learning about each other's cultures, and now the students go back home and they spread the the same message back all over the world. So it, it's it's remarkable that you can, with one person at one time, make an impact that lasts for generations. Uh, this will be just a fabulous year for each of you. Uh, there'll be many tears in May, both from us <laughs> seeing you leave and go out about your, your lives, but uh, 
from you because you will have met friends from all over the world. So no matter where you go, you'll be within reach of somebody that you've made friends with this year. Last year, we hosted two Pakistani students. When they came to the U.S., they had preconceived notions. When those students left last year, they told us that what they perceived when they came was totally different from what they were going home with. If we could take the politics out of everything that we do, then we're the same people, basically. And they indicated that we all love family, we look at our futures, and if you could take the politics out of that, world peace would be solved and the mission of the Georgia Rotary Student Program would be fulfilled. I've been host family for 12 students. The uh, students become part of the family. They're just like having another, another kid. And uh, I've still got, I've got kids and grandkids now all over the world through, uh, through my relationship with the students that we've had in GRSP. Go like four steps that way. One, Two. Well, I think it's an eye-opening experience for them to, to learn about the United States, particularly not just the American people, but particularly the, uh, the, the people in, in the southern United States and in, in Georgia. Uh, they find a southern hospitality that they didn't know existed by looking at, uh, at, the, at the world news that, uh, that they see on television. The host family experience is sort of an embodiment of that southern hospitality. That's true. In the sense that they just open up their arms despite your nationality or culture and, and show you and help you through this year. I always tell the story about what is JSP, it's like just making the world super small. Yeah, it's true. Just, it's just like one unique. Taking the whole entire world and then compromising it here in Georgia. Yeah, it's a Georgia, I mean, it's a sweet thing. Yeah. <laughs> Love you all, yeah. to all cultures. <laughs> I mean, it has totally changed my life, and I'm sure all the JRSP students had the same experiences. In 1955, Hugh Thomas of Savannah, Georgia, was elected to be the fourth chairman of the Georgia Rotary Student Program, and it became the centerpiece of Thomas' family life. Dad was the chairman for almost 35 years, and this was his love. You know, this was his love, and, and, and what money, most folks don't know that his partner in this effort was my, was my mom. My mother was extraordinarily supportive and uh, really, really loved the Georgia Rotary Student Program just as my dad did. Someone said to me, well, how many children are you gonna have this year? And the man next to me looked rather surprised, you know. <laughs> I said, I really couldn't tell you, but each year I look forward to having a crop. And that's sort of- Dad saw the need to come up with permanent funding uh, and, and that was one of his accomplishments. Ronnie Waller shepherded the GRSP endowment through a key period of growth. $10,000 contributors are now recognized as Ronnie Waller Fellows. When I came up to hand them these awards, the first guy said, I thought you were dead. <laughs> said he'd never seen a Rotarian give a award away that wasn't dead already. This program is fully funded by Georgia Rotarians. No other money comes from any place else. It's unique in the Georgia Rotary world. It's unique in the world of Rotary. There is no other program just like this in Rotary. And uh, what little bit I can do to continue that, uh, I feel like this is the way I can serve Rotary for the rest of my time. Is it possible to quantify the value of the GRSP experience? Perhaps that question is best answered by talking to the students who have participated, for it is by those students that the real value of the program is measured. GRSP made a huge difference in my life and actually made a huge change in my life. It gave me a solid basis to build a very successful career and have a very happy family. So many different cultures, different countries, different languages. It was such a big door opener just to come here into the United States. GRSP has been just awesome for me. It gave me uh, not only knowledge in business administration, but gave me the opportunity to know the American society and to learn that everything in life is possible if 
one makes effort to get it. That freedom is the most important thing in social activities. All that I learned in your country through your program. It helps you to become a leader of the future. You need to be flexible and you learn also that life it's not just one way, it's not white and black, it is a puzzle. And the year that I was here, 1950-51, I would say it was the best year of my life. For me, the GISP experience and meeting so many students really gave me insight to really understanding a lot of cultures, uh, trying to see different perspectives. Uh, you know, being in, home, uh, being in your home country and really growing up in an environment, uh, you don't necessarily expose yourself to so many diverse cultures. In the 19th century, for example, a person would be a citizen of a country, or in the 20th century will be the citizen of a continent. In the 21st century, we're a citizen of this planet. So we're all, uh, we all belong to this planet, and we have to learn how to communicate with all our cultures. And we have to learn that uh, amongst all, we're not as different as we think. We're actually the most similar. <laughs> we're all human beings. And that's what I've learned this year. GRSP is a connectional organization. Whether you are a student, an alumni, a trustee, or a host family, or even if you're only contact with the program is as a member of a participating club. We are all connected by the bond that forms when people who, without regard for national origin, race, gender, or religion, come together in an environment where we seek not so much to be understood as to understand. And as a result, we realize that our similarities far outweigh our differences. As I rode off down the highway, I remember seeing that boy standing there and waving goodbye, and I thought how thankful I was for human relations of that sort. This is the natural way.